Welcome, and thank you for making the time to take this Contracting Officer's Representative, or COR, process training. If you are taking this training, you may be responsible for nominating, designating, or acting as a COR for a Department of Defense organization or command. For all service contracts, including construction, the requiring activity is responsible for nominating and providing to the Procuring Contracting Officer, or PCO, the appointment personnel for COR, alternate COR, and other surveillance support personnel for designation assignments as necessary. Once provided, a COR shall be designated to a contract awarded by a DOD component or by any other federal agency on behalf of DOD for surveillance activities throughout the life of the contract. The surveillance activities performed by a COR shall be tailored to the dollar value and complexity of the specific contract for which they are designated. DFARS PGI 201.602-2 DII and DOD 5000.72 entitled DOD Standard for Contracting Officers Representative Certification establishes policies and standards, assigns responsibilities, and provides procedures to certify CORs to implement the recommendation of the DOD Panel on Contracting Integrity set out in the 2008 report to Congress. Additionally, this regulation and instruction establishes uniform guidance for identification, development, certification, and management of CORs within the DOD to ensure proper training for CORs designated prior to award. The standard is a contract-based, progressive three-tiered system linked to performance risk rating determined by the requiring activity. The contract rating and COR type go hand-in-hand hand and are type A, type B, or type C. The types are type A, fixed price, low performance risks, type B, cost type contracts or other than low risk fixed price contract requirements, and type C, unique contract requirements that necessitate a professional license, higher education, or specialized training. Beyond required COR training, the nominated individuals shall have the relevant technical expertise, experience, and required competencies needed for the specified level or COR type. Competencies for consideration are 1. Relevant technical experience, in which one has agency experience at a 6 to 12 month minimum, which may be waived by the requiring activity. 2. Relevant technical experience as determined by the nominating supervisor for PCO consideration and appointment. 3. General abilities in which CORs should possess the following abilities attention to detail, decision making, flexibility, oral and written communication skills, problem solving, reasoning, and teamwork. 4. Technical skills where CORs should possess the following abilities. Effective analytical skills, business ethics, defining government requirements, and knowledge of the contract. And 5. COR training. Training requirements for CORs are set forth within an enclosure of DOD instruction, number 5000.72. COR refresher training is required and is also referenced within the enclosure to this instruction. Upon the PCO's approval, the Contracting Officer's Representative Tool, or Court, shall be used to complete the COR nomination, assuring the needed documentation of training and certification is uploaded and on record, along with OGE 450 verification, a copy of the Quality Assurance Surveillance Plan, and documentation of COR supervisor and PCO verification and approval and accomplished of the required COR designation letter. Just remember, it's a three-tiered system and that the requirements are aligned by tier. Keep a copy of all up-to-date policies and regulations for your reference, in addition to the reference list that will follow this training. Thanks again for watching.